Okay guys, so today we are going to make vegetable dumpling soup. Never made it in my life. My wife usually makes it. But I'm going to make my first attempt at making it. Uh, so I'll also show you what, I, what else I got here. So we got some potatoes. We got some carrots. These are like the rainbow carrots. So you just chop them all up to nice little pieces. You like my work? I know I did a great job. <laughs> we also have um, some spinach. Also cut up a little bit. Not too crazy. Uh, what else we're we gonna be using? We're gonna be using some bisquick. We're gonna be using some wild rice. We're gonna be using a can of beans. Uh, cannelli beans. Cannel cannellini beans. Cannellini beans. Cannellini beans. We're gonna be using some vegetable broth. We're gonna be using my favorite oatly. And what else? What else? Some garlic, some salt, some oil, onions, and celery. That's, that's the whole thing. So the first step is to put oil, a little bit of oil in here. How much oil? You see how it's like a light layer? Okay. Heat up, yeah, enough to cover the bottom. Uh, and then heat it up in this pan. Low heat, low medium heat. And then we're going to saute some onions. Okay, this is going to be rough because I've... Oh god. Oh yeah, I'm 100% getting burned. I can hear it. Sauteing some onions. Step one. Huh? Both of them? And celery. Okay, so I already went ahead and pre-chopped pre the celery and onions. Okay, sauteing. I'm uh, stirring this up a little bit. Now what? Uh, some salt? Yes. Is it your favorite? One teaspoon salt? <laughs> For now. One teaspoon of salt going in the, the pot here. It's salt. Yeah, just a nice little. What else we add? We're, we're gonna add a little vegetable seasoning. This one is a Goya salad and vegetable seasoning. Just gonna add one little packet. Cool. So far, so good. Nice. And mix it up. And stir it up again. Just make sure it all gets spread around, especially the celery. Alright, that's pretty good. And then we just want to spread it so it all cooks. Wow, I suck at this. Get down. Okay, then we're going to cover the pot for a few minutes and see how it goes. Let's grab whatever we need out of here. So she just opened it up. We stirred it again. How's it looking in here? Looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. So now we're gonna add potatoes and the carrots. Um, uh, potatoes and carrots going in. Oh yeah. I'm gonna spill somewhere along the way. Try something like that. There you go. Oh, and sweet. Oh, there's also sweet potato in here. So just regular potato and sweet potato. Try to tell you guys that. So we got sweet potato, regular potato, rainbow carrots, all chopped up, cut up nicely. We're adding it to the already sauteed onions and celery. Now we're gonna stir it up. We're also gonna add some fresh garlic, about a giant heaping regular tablespoon worth <laughs> why are you laughing <laughs> that's what it is right it's a regular tablespoon it's a big spoon it's not an actual measured tablespoon but you know it's one of those spoons they use on the table <laughs> all right so we stir it up and we just get it all nice and mixed Especially that garlic, you want that garlic. Now we open a fresh carton. I'm gonna figure out how much exactly we use after. But um, I'm gonna pour a little bit now. A quarter of a cup, quarter of a cup yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll use real measurements after. Ah! <laughs> so I'm just gonna keep stirring it pretty much. Every couple seconds, because you, you don't want it to stick to the pan basically, right? Medium heat. Are we adding more? 
What we're doing is waiting for the potatoes to cook. Apparently they turn translucent. We're gonna find out right now. Shoot, let me see. Just look inside real quick. All right. So they're kind of, let me just pick one up. I'll pick the same one up later. You see it. Does not look like I can see through it. So we're gonna put it back down and see what happens. <laughs> Let's see what she's up to here. What are you up to here? Huh? Stirring again. So you're, you're pretty much just stirring every like minute, pretty much. You just don't want anything to stick to the bottom of the pan. Because it will stick and burn. You don't want that. So it's been about six minutes of potatoes cooking. Let me just see some. Where's this translucent effect? It's fine. Wait. Oh, yeah, I do kind of see it. All right, so we're going to add some more vegetables. Is this the one I used already? Yeah. All right. You're going to add both. All right. Oh, oh, okay. So that's easy then. And they're both full? Yeah. All right, so perfect. So we end up using two whole cartons of vegetable broth. This is, makes, this is basically what our soup is going to be. Let me see how much exactly. So two quarts. Two quarts of vegetable broth. We're gonna add in a cup of that wild rice that I was showing you. One cup? Yep, one cup. Probably a little bit more. Yeah, I think so. Probably like a cup and a half. Huh? So I'll just add two cups? Okay, so we're gonna add a cup and a quarter, pretty much, of wild rice. Then we're gonna stir that a little bit. Just to get the rice cooking. And then uh, what else are we gonna add? Your beans. Add the beans too. Mm -hmm. I can feel it sticking on the bottom. Hold on, let me just stir this. Okay. Stir that up. Then we're also gonna add the beans. The cannellini beans. Take the can of beans, dump it, strain it, rinse it out, and then add right, one so can. Stir of beans. this a little bit and then let it cook. We gotta see it boil, or do you cover it again? Yeah, you can cover it. Okay, so we're gonna cover this again for like ten minutes. It should boil for about ten minutes, and hopefully it's boiling when we uncover it. Once it's boiling, that that means it's good for the next step. So all we added so far was a teaspoon of salt nice. and one packet of vegetable seasoning. That's more. More of what? Flavor. More flavors. So what are we adding? Two more packets of vegetable seasoning contraption. All right, so we added three total packets of vegetable seasoning. We're gonna add another, like, almost a teaspoon of salt. So why don't you just use a whole full teaspoon if you added more? Oh. <laughs> okay, so we added another teaspoon of salt. Two teaspoons of salt so far, and three packets of vegetable seasoning. We got onions, we got celery, we got sweet potato, regular potato, rainbow carrots. We got, what else? Garlic, rice, Salad. brown rice, wild rice, and vegetable broth. When we add in the nutrition yeast. Oh, we also got beans up in there. You can add it now as well. Yeah? yeah. We're going to add the nooch, aka nutritional yeast. How much are we added? Whatever. Whatever we want. We're adding whatever that we want. All right. Oh, this makes it like a cheesy flavor? I don't think it does. Okay. Okay, that doesn't work. It's way too little. Let's try that. <laughs> How's that? Yeah. Sounds good. Add that much, all right? That's about quarter cup. <laughs> That's our favorite thing. Quarter cup of this. Okay, so after <laughs> after, adding, <laughs> after adding those seasonings, we're going to go ahead and uh, let that pot simmer for about 45 minutes. Oh, no, never mind. Calm down, Kev. We are waiting 10 minutes for it to boil, and then we're going to do step five, whatever the next step is. All right. Half a teaspoon of lemon juice. That's the secret ingredient to this recipe. A little bit more than half a teaspoon. A dripping half a teaspoon of lemon juice. <laughs> That's the secret ingredient. After it's boiling. Or during boiling phase. We're adding half teaspoon dripping lemon juice. <laughs> You're going to lower your heat. Alright, so we can lower our heat once it's done boiling. To like a, a low medium 
and we're gonna cover it and simmer it, right? For 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. Cause your potatoes, the rice, they don't like to cook. Now, even though we're gonna let it simmer for 45 minutes, you still wanna open it, check it, stir it. Well, you're gonna add stuff to it too. Every few minutes, and we're probably gonna add some more stuff to it. Probably some more water, stuff like that. So, we'll be continuing that process in a second. All right, so, so that's now we're gonna make the dumpling part of the uh, recipe. We're gonna add how much? Two cups? cups. Two cups of this quick. Like, like flat? Like a, like a leveled, cup. two leveled cups of the Bisquick right. mixture. One cup of Bisquick and one more. Got flour everywhere of my black shirt. Great. Don't wear black when you're baking, apparently. Even though this is not really, this is kind of like baking. Though. Yeah, anything flour or substance. Don't wear black t-shirt. Got it. Next time. Okay, two cups. Bisquick. And we're going to add two thirds, two thirds cup of oatly. Wait, you use that? Yeah. <laughs> you don't use actual liquid? You can't see it. What do you mean? It goes up to one cup only. Two and a third right there. No, two thirds. Not two and a third. Two thirds oh, of a two cup. Oh, two thirds of a cup. Okay, so we're going to use a dry measuring cup to make two thirds <laughs> of liquid oatly. <laughs> All right, so we're adding one third cup. Oatly. Let her add the other third. And I want to let my daughter add the other third cup. Come, Mama. Not the salt cover. We're adding two thirds cup of oatly. Oat milk. All these uh, rubber spatulas. Is that what they're called? <laughs> I'm acting like I know what they're called. <laughs> they're rubber spatula. All right. You sure this is uh, enough milk? Enough oily. It's enough oily. All right. Form into a bowl. You want to stir tape? Yeah. Go ahead. I'll let you do the honors. Let's get a full face cam for you over. Oh. <laughs> I forgot you're short. <laughs> All right, so we're uh, just stirring the dough. It looks like it's about to fall a ball of dough. Yeah, it's yeah. like dough. Yeah. We're not making. We're making dumpling soup. Interested? But what is dumpling? Dumpling, dumpling is basically dumpling. that. It's like a little ball of dough. It's like a biscuit almost. Drop it in the. Soup. And then you drop it in the soup, and it absorbs all those soup and flavors, it and it cooks, and then you eat it. With the rice and the beans and the potatoes and it's the carrots dough. and all that stuff that's in there. It's dough. It's yep. dough. Here. Let me I did okay. So it looks like a little ball of dough. You're gonna need spoonfuls. Yeah, it is sticky though. Look at it. You can tell how it's sticky it is. What else are we doing to this? You're gonna end up later. Uh, Not right now. No, later. Yeah. You'll put so we just put this to the side for now? So we're done with this? Yep. Alright, we'll put this to the side while we wait for our uh, soup to finish. Cooking. Stir it up. We don't want that stuff on the bottom to stick and burn, which actually it's not. It's pretty good. Yeah. So we're gonna add a little bit of water now. Huh? Yeah. Two cups. You're gonna write it out the gate. Just two cups. Yeah. Okay. We add two more cups of water. Oh, actually, we're gonna add one cup. Of, actually, we're gonna add. Actually. One cup. It is one cup. One cup. We're gonna add one cup of water for now. Just to keep the uh, the water level up there, we're gonna taste it. Why? Oh, because water takes away the flavor. The more you add, the more it loses flavor. Don't need to add any more flavors to it just yet. Just the water to keep it keep it level there. Right. Cover that back up. Let it keep simmering, and we're gonna. Let that keep simmering, while, and we have our timer going. We have another 13 minutes for that first 20 minute timer. So we'll, we'll come back okay, to so that. So it's been about 15 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and add, add the bag of corn, the half bag of corn. Should I have broken it up? No, nah, it'll. Add the half bag of corn. And this is super sweet corn. Okay. We're also gonna add the spinach or not yet? Later, later. Okay, yeah. that's fine. 
All right, so we're just gonna add the half bag of corn 15 minutes in of the simmering process and cover it back up. Man, I think you're gonna have to add water. Add more water now? Yeah, Might as well. Like All right, so we're gonna add another cup of water. Then we're gonna stir it up, taste it one more time, see if we need to add more flavor. If we don't, then we're just gonna cover it up and let it keep cooking. So we're gonna add a little bit more of the vegetable seasoning that will bring our total up to four packets. And you also add a little bit of salt, like a pinch of salt. That'll bring our total to two teaspoons and a pinch of salt. <laughs> oh, we're gonna add another t quarter teaspoon of lemon juice. The secret ingredient. So let's do a recap. We stirred it 15 minutes in of simmering process. We added the corn. Then we added another cup of water because it was getting too low. Then we tasted it and needed a little bit more flavor. So we added another vegetable seasoning and another pinch of salt and a quarter teaspoon of lemon juice. So after these 40 minutes of simmering, uh, we're going to get ahead and add our spinach to the soup. Probably gonna need more water. Just just pour the whole thing and then stir it after. Yeah. Oh, that looks great. All right, that's a lot of spinach. How much? This was like 16 ounces, you said? Yeah, uh, it's the bag. Six ounces, right? It was a six ounce bag. Stir it in. I'll yeah. add the water after. Get that spinach in there. Looks like we need a bigger pot. All right, so we added a little bit more water. About what? Half a cup? About a half a cup more water to that. Stirred in our spinach. It's looking real good. It's looking real, real good. What yeah, we're else we gonna, gonna do? Bring this to a boil again. Bring it to a boil. So we're gonna increase the heat, or we're just gonna before you add your dumpling. Ah, uh, before you add the dumpling. So increase the heat again. Yeah, I did. You didn't. Yeah, okay. It's about where. All right. So bring the heat back up to medium. Bring it back to a boil, and we're gonna add our dumplings. Ho ho. Yeah, All right. Like that. So take a spoon, this is actually a regular teaspoon for tables. Separate them though. And just scoop up your mix, your dough mix, and just kind of dump it in there. AKA dumplings. Is that how they name? I don't know. Is that how they got their name? Uh, this is you're like two cups of Bisquick. Like, it makes about. You're trying to put it like on yeah, the you, surface, but sometimes some of it just falls. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, you want to try to keep it floating on top so it could cook. If it goes in, it goes in, no problem. Try to keep it a little bit spaced out so they don't actually cook onto each other. But if it does, it's okay. You can always chop it up with your spoon later. But that looks good. So lower the heat again to Sorry. low. And then cover it back up. And we're going to put another timer for about 10 minutes so those dumplings could cook. So it's been 10 minutes. We're going to go ahead and uncover it and let those dumplings cook for another 10 minutes. It's looking very, very good. It's looking very good. So another 10 minutes, so boom, 840. Leave it at the same heat, which is low. Dumplings are officially ready, the soup. Let's take a look. It has been 10 minutes. And we have the final, is it final? Yep. Product. Dumpling, vegetable, no. Vegetable, dumpling, soup, guys. Bye. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed making some vegetable dumpling soup. And once again, thanks for joining us in the kitchen. Until next time, thanks for watching.